She's one of the most dynamic players in the game. This kid's special. And it's just pure joy to watch her play. And she does some things that haven't been done. Anytime she has the ball, you, you don't know what to expect. She's one of the greatest I've ever seen play. Another classic tonight, right before the half, the All-American. Kayla Trainer scores for Niskayuna. Silver Warriors down 7-6 at the break. Now, less than three minutes left. Tie game, it's Trainer, And that's the game winner, her fifth goal of the night. Niskayuna runs out the clock, and they knock off the four-time champions, 15-14. to She started sports with her father at probably the age three. She did the Junior Warriors program with her dad and they, they played with the boys um, in the Junior Warriors pro program. And her dad was a coach. So they just loved the sports aspect. Yeah, so I think just all growing up, playing soccer and basketball and, you know, my dad coached the boys varsity basketball team at my high school. So I just was around sports all growing up and, you know, loved watching my dad coach. And I think, you know, I really thought I was a basketball or soccer player. When she was in eighth grade, um, we saw her go out for soccer. She made the varsity team as an eighth grader. Um, we were told about her when she was in about sixth grade, about what an athlete she was. We knew she was coming because everyone was talking about her. And the second I went outside to watch her play, soccer first, I knew she was going to be a standout superstar. They were playing soccer and basketball, and basketball was their passion. And so later on, they decided to pick up lacrosse sticks, and we thought we had enough to do. We weren't sure we were crazy about the idea of them picking up lacrosse sticks, but we're like, okay, let them give it a try. Um, and the two of them were pretty good at it. She actually played varsity soccer, basketball, and lacrosse as a ninth grader. Um, I don't know that we've ever had a kid that played three sports uh, on the varsity as a ninth grader, but she, um, she got some attention and we were kind of surprised. I had, an, I had an idea. When we would go to uh, tournaments in eighth grade, some before ninth grade, and coaches were following her around, it was a pretty good indication of the, uh, of the legend of Kayla Trainer at that young age, too. You know, when I went to a camp when I was going into ninth grade, I think, and it was Syracuse lacrosse camp, and I didn't really think it was um, for a recruiting purpose. I thought it was just, you know, I was just going, and um, at the end of camp, uh, Coach Gate, you know, made me an offer and said, we want you to come play here, and really, that was the first time, um, you know, with my parents in that room that, I, you know, we left, and I remember being in the car and thinking, wait, I can play college lacrosse, you know, and so that was really the moment, and then I just, you know, kept going, that just gave me a passion and gave me this whole new motivation to get better and compete and play with the best kids. And so I, ever since that moment, really, I just wanted to, you know, be the best and play with the best. And um, I really, that in Gary's office, when he said I can play lacrosse at Syracuse was like the moment for me. The drive to achieve was apparent from a young age for Kayla. While her athleticism grew and she excelled in multiple sports, the underlying source of trainer success is a ferocious competitive nature, one that those close to her have long observed. We, we knew she had potential, not only because she was pretty good at that, but she had the drive. She was fiercely competitive, and she, she would cry a lot after games <laughs> if she didn't win. So we knew that drive might keep her going. But I don't think it's something, I think you can teach competitive nature to a, to a degree. But I think some of that's uh, DNA or innate that, you know, you, you're, this is the way I am and I, I don't want to lose, I hate losing. You know, you hear these stories how a person like Michael Jordan can't lose a checkers. I mean, Kayla's like that. Um, but um, ever since she was young, ever since she was young, there's just, I have all kinds of memories of her wanting to do things at full throttle. First thing we talk about Kayla, we talk about her competitiveness and her work ethic. And she was the type of kid that could, would stay after practice for hours just shooting. You know, I drive past the field well after practice ended, she's there shooting. So I think we look at her competitiveness and her work ethic. Those are the two things that really stood apart from a lot of her, her peers at that, at that age group. She's great with her teammates and all those things that are really important to be a really good athlete. She, she, she had all those attributes, but it, her effort to me was the, the thing that stood out the most. You know, to be competitive is a key to being a Division I athlete, and, and you've got to be competitive, you're not going to get this far. I think 
you know, she, what she did was take it to another level by wanting to improve and get better all the time. So it wasn't just how competitive she was during the practice or on the field, but she realized that she needed to do stuff away from practices, away from the game in order to improve herself and be better. And that really shows how competitive she is. She wanted to get better. She's that competitive. And that's, uh, you know, that's a huge part of her success. The success Trainer enjoyed at her high school, competing internationally, and dominating down the road at Syracuse University was witnessed and celebrated by her hometown supporters. The sincere pride exuded by the Niskayuna community is palpable. Well, she's one of our own. You know, we've watched, she's grown up here, she's gone to school all the way through here, and so there's a tremendous amount of pride, not only in the lacrosse program, but I'd say in the school itself. You know, she was class president. So a lot of kids know her in that way, and so you know, everybody uh, knows her and rallies around her and is rooting for her. You know, she's like the Michael Jordan of Niskuna. Everybody knows, respects, loves her. She's just amazing. It's, it's really amazing. She has put Niskuna in the map, especially with, with girls across, and has done tremendous things for our youth program and, and kids in the greater capital region. So there's really a lot of pride here. My, my kids look up to her, she's a great role model. Absolutely, I mean, she's probably the, you know, the best lacrosse player ever to come out of section two. So uh, male or female, that's a, pretty, that's, a, that's a pretty great thing. And then to go on and do all the things that she's done. She got to Syracuse, we got an idea that she really was that good. Uh, we were kind of surprised at all the attention she got while she was at high school. And we never told her she was any good, so. You know, I always tell people I was, I was there for the ride. I mean, that's 90% Kayla and then 10% of everybody else. Her work ethic, her talent, her drive is, is really the reason she got to that, to that level and, and where she is today. It's a really big relief and I, I know I can go really confident into my last season here in Iskuna and know that I'm going to Syracuse University, which is a great program and I'm so thrilled to be a part of it someday. Present our seven student athletes and their official colleges for the fall of 2012. Congratulations.